Okay, so now that we've uh, downloaded all those programs and obviously gone through and installed them, uh, I'm, I just follow. I'm just going to go through and follow this um, form here. So the next thing it says: remove your battery, press and hold power button and volume up. What that does is it will um, boot the phone into the default bootloader. Um, so that's what we'll do. So my phone's off at the moment. I'm going to press power and the volume up button. So let's do that. When the screen lights up, if you let go, then we're into the bootloader and it says, okay, to program connect USB data cable. So plug this in. Okay. So um, depending on when you install the drivers, it'll come in, it'll come up and say drive is installed. So now we run the RSD light. So what you'll see down here if the drivers is installed properly the um, and it says connected. So what we do is we um, go and get the SBF file which we downloaded before so that's the one that I've got click open and basically we click start and um, we wait so you'll see here it'll give you uh, the process um, this bit takes a fair while probably about 10 minutes um, so and on the screen even when it's it says a hundred percent just wait on the phone until it either boots by itself or um, it tells you to shut down. Um, but in my case, every time I've done it, it's actually booted, rebooted by itself. And even once this has hit 100% processed, um, it takes another few minutes uh, on my phone to to actually reboot itself. So um, yeah, basically it's just a waiting game now.
Okay, so phone's um, automatically reboot itself. And this is the first boot. Um, but what I found is you get stuck in a boot loop at this um, point in time. So what we need to do is we need to boot in and um, go into the Motorola stock recovery and wipe the um, wipe its cache, and then generally it'll boot up fine after that. I'm going to let it boot up anyway, and might get lucky and uh, get past the uh, the boot services. But if we follow these instructions here, <coughs> number 13 says sometimes it will boot, boot automatically and the con will say pass. If that doesn't happen, you'll ask you to reboot manually and you, your phone will be stuck in Moto Logo. So mine actually um, boots, boots past the Moto Logo, but um, I guess the Telstra thing is um, something that the carriers put on instead of the logo so what it'll do is it says here um, now remove your USB and remove the cable hold um, the power plus up again to go back into the bootloader screen and now we connect the USB and then this um, this will say pass so just I'm just waiting for it will get to um, executed 100% and it'll probably ask us to uh, manually power up the phone there. So, I'm just going to wait for it. So you can see it's it's gone into a boot loop. I'm just going to unplug the USB cable. I'm just going to pull the battery out. I've taken the battery out, put it back in, volume up and power button. So if I press those two, the screen will light up. Okay. So now we're back into the bootloader mode. If we plug the cable back in, uh, sorry, just plug the cable back in, and mm -hmm. on the screen, it's all finished and passed. So we can close this up and um, turn it off. So I'm going to unplug it. What we want to do is press the power and a volume down this time, the volume down button, to get into stock recovery. So I'm just going to hold it and let it go. Okay, so. Um, if you if it gets stuck on that um, triangle with the Android, just um, what I did was I pressed volume up and down at the same time, and it brought up the um, stock recovery menu. So in here, go down and do a um, both do a wipe data factory set. So press the power button to select, and it will go yes. And you can see it's just wiping the data there. So this takes a little bit of time, but I um I just go through and do this anyway just to be sure because um, I've done this a few times and every time I've done it, it actually gets stuck in a boot loop until I do this. So um, instead of waiting for it to try and boot, I just go in here and um, wipe, give factory reset and wipe cache and then usually that'll boot up. And it takes a fair b bit of time for the first boot. Okay, 
It's just formatting the cache. Okay, so we're done. So I know it's already wiped the um, the cache, but I'm going to go and manually do it again, just in case. Okay, so this time I'll go and uh, reboot. So now it should uh, reboot. This is the first boot. It can take quite a while, so just let it. Um, we'll come back in a, a few minutes when it's finished booting. Okay, so there we have it. It is um, reset to absolute default. Um, I don't even remember what um, version of Android it was, but um, what you want to do is go through this and um, unfortunately you can't log in unless you have a Motorblur account, which is pretty crazy. But go through, um, set the phone back up because we need to access it, um, and once once it's all set up, uh, we'll come back. I'll come back and show you how to install um, a custom recovery, root the phone, and then um, install uh, Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. Okay, so um, go ahead and sort out your phone and come back shortly. Thanks.